off net? Up off net. You guys know what it is. Show biz the doubt. I'm automatic. Three, two, one. From the counter. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, come on. That was for the game. I was that close. What's up, my people? This is Showbiz Adult. All right, man, look. Which is a better sport, UFC or boxing? Oops. All right, man, look. Let's get to the video. So in the wakes of Conor McGregor going against Cowboy Cerrone, this weekend, uh, I had a few show business partners asking me about me doing more UFC this year. And then we're curious. Well, actually, it was one show business partner in, in particular was curious. Which one do I like more, boxing and, or UFC and why? Let me explain this to you. Uh, I like all combat sports, definitely. Um, I appreciate the UFC. Like I said, I've done jujitsu. I've uh, done taekwondo. I've definitely boxed. And I have an appreciation for all facets of combat. Okay, uh, the UFC has all those things. I definitely love boxing. That's my first love. But which sport is better? Let me do it like this. The UFC is definitely ran better. Okay? And here's what I mean. The UFC has a governing body. Okay, so it's ran better than boxing. Just look at who's fighting who. Look at the records. Look at the records. Look at Cowboy Cerrone, one of the greatest of all time. What is he, 36 and 13? Okay, what is that, like a 64 percentile uh, uh, win percentage? Uh, 64 percent, something like that? So Cowboy Cerrone, seen and respected as a great fighter with a 64 percent. That doesn't go in boxing, okay? You get laughed at if you take a loss. Let's think of some of the greater boxers there is. I mean, uh, uh, UFC fighters there is. Daniel Cormier. What is he? 22 and 2, I think. What's that? 24 fights? He fought 24, 25 fights. In boxing, that's not enough fights. Okay? You have uh, 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 John Jones. He may even be the GOAT. How many fights did he have in total? 26? I think it's like 25 and 1 or 24 and 1, something like that. But And that one was a disqualification. He never really lost. Uh... And he only has like 25, 26 bouts. But the thing is how it's ran. All of those guys' records are valuable because they have to fight the next best guy. If boxing was ran like that, there would be very little undefeated fighters. Maybe none. Okay, let me, let me tell you something. If boxing was ran like the UFC, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder and Anthony Joshua would have fought many times already. They, they would have fought maybe three times already. Hell, Daniel Dubois would have fought Anthony Joshua by now. Tyson Fury would have had fights with all those boys already. Errol Spence would have fighting Terrence Crawford at least two or three times already. If, this, if, if, Uf, if boxing was ran like the UFC, it would be totally different. The number one guy would be fighting the number two guy. And when it comes to... Uh, uh, what we value as far as records, that would be seen differently. Case in point, Lomachenko and Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Many people look at Lomachenko's record. What is it, 14 and 1, something like that, and say, oh, look, for, he only had 15 fights. Blah, blah, blah. They don't understand the value of the record. The guy has fought nothing but champions. He may have not fought, what, one that wasn't a champion. His whole entire resume are full of champions. Deontay Wilder, not the same, but boxing fans look at the numbers. They don't understand the value, and that's the thing with the UFC. That's why you have a guy like Daniel Cormier, one of the greatest of all time, 22-2. and two. That's why you have guys, like I said, like Cowboy, like Conor McGregor. These guys only have 26 fights and stuff like that. Known as great fighters because of the quality, not the quantity. And that's what I like most about the UFC. Another thing is PEDs. Okay, for the most part, if you mess up as far as taking PEDs, as far as cheating, you get a huge penalty. John Jones was out for like two years. You get penalized pretty darn heavy. Look at Brock Lesnar, stuff like that. I mean, for the most part, there's guys who get away with it. But there's 
Not as many Canelo Alvarez did he really use what happened with that uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather, the ID situation. Dillian White as of late. What's going on with that? Big Baby Miller, cocktail of PEDs, only gone for six months. Stuff like that. You don't get that in the UFC. Not as much as boxing. Boxing, there's a bigger cloud of doubt in boxing. And that's because there is no overarching governing body. See, with the UFC, it really doesn't matter. The sport is bigger than the fighters. With boxing, the fighters are bigger than the sport. And that's why on, in this community, I am pushing boxing over boxer so the sport can survive. Also, an appreciation for the boxers will actually be greater if you love the fight more than you love the fighter. If you love the fight, then that will push these fighters to take more chances. And then that's better for the boxing community. That's better for the sport. And actually, it's better for the appreciation for the fighter like a Sean Porter who has taken a couple losses. Uh, Danny Garcia who has taken a couple losses. Mikey Garcia only taken one loss and people are already throwing him away. Then you won't have judges having that incentive to have to give a guy a fight. Uh, some people, you know, boxing is not the cleanest business in the world. You got certain promoters dictating this, certain managers and stuff like that moving. I mean, you got the money kind of dictating a lot of things. But when, if there was an over, over, overarching governing body, there wouldn't be that situation. I think the UFC has ran better. But here's the thing. I like the sport itself, the sweet science of boxing more than UFC. And here's why. When you look at the UFC, when you look at a, a fight, an MMA fight, it is at its most entertaining when they're standing and striking. Really. Uh, I like everything. I like the ground game, stuff like that. I'm, but I'm just talking about for the fan overall, it is at its most entertaining when they are not on the ground wrestling around when they're actually standing and striking. It's more action packed there, throwing kicks and stuff like that. And that's what makes boxing so uh, uh, so entertaining. It's only standing and striking. It's who mastered the standing and striking the most. And just with the fist, you're getting someone is punching the other one in the face. OK, there are there are knockouts. OK, uh, so it's it's full stand and striking, making it a tad bit more entertaining in my book. The question was for me. Personally speaking, I think boxing is a bit more entertaining, a bit more entertaining. The more the awareness grow and education as far as what you knowing what you're looking at on the ground game with the UFC, it will start. I mean, who knows where it's going to end up? But I think the sport itself, boxing, I like more. Uh, so I'm a bigger fan of boxing, but how it's ran, the UFC is is handled better than the sport of boxing. Show biz, uh, don't let me know uh, how you feel in the comments below. That's how I feel. I know it's uh, pretty much the UFC, a company versus uh, sport. You know, it's not like MMA or boxing. The question was UFC or boxing. So I'm, you know, uh, UFC has ran better. The sport of boxing is better. The sport is boxing to me, it's more entertaining than MMA, period. Uh, you know, when you're doing the ground game and the stand-up and stuff like that, the jack-of-all-trades type of sport. But still, I think the UFC has ran better than boxing. I'm out! Huh!